All right, as promised in our last video about labs, this one we're going to talk about how you enter uh, uh -oh, those things in the lab that you need for the configuration. Let's go to configuration. I forget what the column. Okay, so these things here, how do you get them into the system? Okay, these are the lab orders, and you can do them both ways. You can do them where you just put in the lab order item in there, or you can put it in there where you can also do the discrete results. For right now, we're just going to see how to get the items on this list. Now, you notice I got a, a top label, a top level list here, and this one I call general. And let's go ahead and say add top level. And you can do this to organize your lab entries, okay, or your order entries. So I'm going to say group, and we're going to call it this, and we're going to call it the next level. I'm not very creative. And you can leave this blank as well. And sequence, it would just sequence them on the screen there. So I'm going to save this, and that gives me next level. Now, if I want to add something to this group, then I would click on the pencil here. Oops, sorry, not the pencil. That's just to change that. Click on the plus sign here. And now in this tier, we're going to say procedure order. And Oh, OP, biopsy. Okay, my new biopsy. We're going to give it a description. And then you're going to, if you give it a sequence number, again, it's just going to sequence them on the screen in the order you want to see them. And here you choose who this is for. Uh, you can segment your orders by the facility that you're ordering from because, again, not all uh, order numbers and IDs go with the, go with all facilities that you're sending labs to. You need to put an identifying code in here. It should be unique and I'm just being lazy and not choosing anything unique except for doing that. All right. And then some of these other ones, if you're a, if you know what you're doing, go ahead and set these specimen type, whether it's going to be blood saliva or if it's going to be injection. All right. And then uh, let's go with the right or no, let's go with bilateral. Okay, so that's just filling all those out. This is to give you an idea of what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Now you can see under next level, I have biopsy. And also if I do this, new biopsy collapses under next level. So now when I do this, I can see this. And then if I was going to do the discrete results for my new biopsy, this is for if you're receiving a orders in electronically and not in PDF, but you wanted the discrete results back in, then you choose the new biopsy and then you would choose discrete results. And this is where you would put the, the, the results in for the results set in for each one of the results that would come back from the lab. Okay, so as you can see, this can get pretty tedious and time consuming, but once it's done, it's a one time, one and done. You don't have to do it again. But for now, if you just wanted to do the order here, then you would see where I have my new biopsy. So now we'll talk, go to go in and choose my patient uh, here. And then let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and choose this since that's already, and then I'm gonna go order, procedure order. And I can go, oh, I'm, I'm on this one already. So now when I click here, and just click search, all I'm gonna get is my new biopsy because that's the only one I have in there. And so you can add as many as you need and this is how you would manage the lab order, procedure order, descriptions and codes in the system. Hope this helps, thanks, bye.